Sean, the fatal accident here in Durham happened right on the bridge behind me, shutting down Route 4 for hours, and the deputy chief here in Durham says there's no doubt that road conditions were a factor. It was a taste of what is coming. Overnight snow and colder temperatures moved into New Hampshire, creating dangerous driving conditions. Numerous spinouts were reported around the state, and while most accidents were minor, that was not the case in Durham. It appears that the uh, passenger car lost control on the uh, bridge, which at the time was, was ice covered. Deputy Chief Rennie Kelly says the call came in at five o'clock in the morning. The, uh, Passenger car was traveling westbound. The tanker truck was traveling eastbound. Police say their investigation shows that the car slid into the path of the tanker. The rear end of the car was uh, sheared off and uh, was located underneath the tanker truck some distance from where the passenger car came to final rest. The only people involved were the drivers of the two vehicles. The driver of the car was already deceased when officers arrived on scene. The uh, operator of the tank of truck uh, was, was uninjured and he's been fully cooperative uh, throughout the investigation thus far. Far more typical of the accidents around the state Monday morning was this one in Epsom, the chain reaction collision involving three vehicles. The chief says Route 4 was also icy. She said when she applied her brakes, uh, she was unable to stop her car slid into the car in front, which pushed the other vehicle in front of, the other, in front of that one vehicle. While this was the only accident in Epsom, the chief says he could hear of numerous others in surrounding towns, and he wasn't really surprised by that. Normally it takes a couple of snowstorms for people to learn how to drive again. As you take a live look at Route 4 in Durham, once again, you can see that the road has reopened. The deputy chief says here in Durham that it's unlikely that any charges will be filed in connection with this accident. Reporting live, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9. All right.